Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very stormy Sunday. Today I'm going to be updating you guys on my A to Z project pan. I have a lot of progress and some new shades, so let's get into it. Starting off with letter A, I have been working out of my Natasha Denona Retro Palette, and the shade that I selected for A is Andy. It is this beautiful cream to matte mauve shade. It is gorgeous. I've only used it three times since the intro, and the times I've used it, I've used it mainly as a lower lash line, kind of smudged out situation, because I've been working on a shade very similar to this in my ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette, and I've been prioritizing that one, trying to get that one out of my rotation. So once I get through that one, I will be able to focus more on Andy, but I'm very happy with the progress. Even though I've only used it three times, because it is a cream to powder formula, it definitely looking a little bit used. I used it on a pencil brush and just smudged that on my lower lash line. For the letter B, I've been working on a shade from my Naked Cherry palette by Urban Decay, and the shade I've been working on is Bing. Bing is this matte berry shade. I have used this one nine times since the intro, so not a crazy amount. Like I said, my Pandos eyeshadows does take priority over this project, but I am using this project as well, trying to work through my collection a little bit. I feel like this is a pretty good amount of progress. You have a nice little dip at the top of this shade. It's nothing super standout-ish, but these shadows, in my opinion, are actually fairly easy to hit pan. As you can see, I've hit pan in hot spot on the end here. So I don't think it's impossible or far-fetched for me to possibly hit pan in the next month, but I definitely need to focus on those berry looks and try and really focus my efforts on this shade. For letter C, I have a very exciting update on my Frozen 2 and ColourPop on a palette. The shade I've been working on is Charades. It is this deeper brown in the bottom corner here. I have used this shade 33 times since rolling it into the project and it took me 32 uses to hit pan. So I did use it one last time today just to deepen up my look a tiny bit, but I do have a little pan in there. The ColourPop shadows literally takes so much effort and time to pan, it's insane. So I'm very happy with the progress on this one. I now have two pans in this palette and I'm currently working on Wind in my Panless Eyeshadows project. So I feel like this is definitely going to be one of my most loved palettes. I did really enjoy working on charades. In fact, it was super easy to work into just about any look as a deepening up shade, or even just smoking on the outer portion of the lower lash line or doing like a faux liner. It was very easy to work through. I used it primarily on denser, fluffy blending brushes, and it still took me 32 uses to hit pan, and it did have quite a bit of usage prior to rolling it in. I am very pleased with this one. It is probably my most exciting pan for the update, but I actually panned a dark shadow, and I'm very proud of that. For the letter D, I've been working on a shade out of my ColourPop Midnight Masquerade palette. ColourPop palettes just seem to be a theme because I buy so many of them. They always end up in my projects. The shade I've been working on is Jolly, which is right up here. It is this shimmery rose gold shade. I have used this shade a total of eight times since rolling into the project and it has only taken me six uses to hit pan. It already was very close to hitting pan when I rolled it in. In fact, this was definitely my gimme shade for the rotation. When I started this project, I knew it would be very easy to hit pan on, but I did not think it would only take six uses to hit pan. I do want to work on some more shades in this palette in the future, but I'm very happy with the progress. I use this one primarily as a lid shade and also with the next shade that you're going to see, I kind of layered them to create an even more pinky rose gold shade. But let's go ahead and jump into the next shade and I'll explain in a second. For letter E, I've been working out of my ColourPop She's Got Solstice palette, yet another ColourPop palette because I have no chill. And the shade I've been working on is Estrella, which is this really pretty pink shimmer in the middle. I have used this shade a total of three times since rolling it in. As you can see, this project has definitely hit the back burner. Once I found Charades was the shade I was working on, I pretty much only used Charades from this project. And like I said, I did layer with Jolly all the times I used this one to kind of create a nice bronzy to rose gold moment. It was very fun to work with. I do think I can make some more significant progress on this shade before next update, but I just wanted to show where we're at. Because I have two pans, that means we are moving on to two new letters of the alphabet. The letters we are adding in are F and G. So for the letter F, I've decided to work on my ColourPop All Amethyst palette. ColourPop shadows and me have a love-hate relationship. They are so dang affordable that I just want to buy them all, but they are so dang hard to hit pan on. So for F, I'm going to be working on Feb's Gem, which is this really pretty 
matte purple. It's like a matte warm lavender. I think that'll be really pretty, especially with Bing and then also some of the shades in my panel's eyeshadows rotation. I feel like this could be a really pretty shade to work on and it'll definitely be a challenge and not something I'll hit pan on right away. And for the letter G, I wanted to work out of my Modern Renaissance by ABH. And the shade I've chosen is Golden Ochre, which is this top golden shade. This one I think will be a pretty easy shade to hit pan on. This is one of the oldest palettes in my collection, so I think it'll be fairly easy, as well as the ABH formula just naturally being very powdery and pretty easy to hit pan on. So I don't think I'll have any issues working on this one over the next month, but this is the shade I'm working on for letter G. This is this month's Color Story Swatched Out. It's very pinky, mauve goodness. I am going to have so much fun playing with these shadows. Let me know if you are doing this project, what shades you are working on, but I had so much fun chatting with you all today, and I can't wait to see you in my next update. Bye, friends.